Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to see how two of the new models can help us create a website from scratch. So in the past with the help of Z and Cloud4 I've managed to create this solar panel website with only one click and every asset on here is created by Claude and uh, yeah in uh, this video I want to test the two new models that are available on open router with Z that has direct connection now with open router and see how it's doing so you see in here that in the past this website it's quite clean and it has a lot of yeah nice uh, features and it's quite complete and yeah I want to see how uh, it will manage to do on uh, two new models that are on open router. So on a open router, you have uh, the possibility to use some free models. So for instance, the DeepSeeker one T2 Chimera, it's the new model that uh, it's uh, quite good. This is the latest feedback. And uh, there is also another model, Cyper Alpha free. Basically this is a clock model and it will not tell you from where it is but it has one million contacts and it's also free usually open router it's the open router together with open ai is testing these models in here so i guess this is something that will be released by open ai in the future and what i will do i will try to create a similar website so uh, i have spin up an astro uh, website and uh, like uh, before I have Tailwind installed and it has using the basic thing. So if you don't know Astro, it's a uh, web framework that can help you build static or dynamic websites easily. I have a lot of tutorials and themes on my uh, channel with this. And uh, the idea is to have a Z. Let me move this. To have Z working with open router, so you can configure easily open router right now with only the API key. And in one side you see that I have the DeepSeeker one T2 Chimera on the other side. Let me choose the model in here. I will have the Cypher Alpha and uh, this is the prompt. So I have uh, an Astro website with Alien CSS4. I want to create a website for a channel panel, menu footer, hero section, services, testimonial, project call to action about service contact, add a readme about the project, create SVGs for assets and uh, logos. So basically this was the prompt that I've used in the past with Z and uh, Cloud4 and created the previous website. And right now I want to see how good these models are. So basically this prompt will test everything from asset creations to web and uh, things like that. So what I will gonna do, I will go and uh, copy this. Basically the DeepSeek r one t 2 doesn't have tool usage, but I don't think we need it. Let's see if this is working. So I have started sending this and right now this uh, it's thinking and will start working and I will do the same for Cypher Alpha. Let's see. Okay. Doesn't let me use this model. Apparently. Yeah, so it doesn't let me use the Cypher Alpha. So I guess we're going to see only the Chimera for this. I don't know, maybe they have. Okay, so right now it created the plan. So you see that uh, it created a good plan for us and this is quite fast. I'm curious to see how it will gonna do and if it will work and I will let it run in here and see what I will have in the end okay icons so right now it's creating the icons for us let me open again the open router thing this thing is not free anymore 
yeah, it should have worked. I see that it doesn't work right now. We're going to test it after. So it's not uh, blocked yet. But I don't know. Let's see the other one. And this one, it has the 37 tokens per second. So it's not that fast, at least in here. But in here, I see. Go ahead. Okay, so right now it's thinking, so this is a thinking model and should combine the power of uh, the air one and uh, be more productive from the things that they've put it in there. So it will not think that much and should create something nice for us. So you see that you have the context in here. Right now you have like about 4,000 tokens context. And we're going to see how it's doing. Okay, it's created some testimonials, but yeah, you will not have the image. And I guess this will work. And what I will do, I will pause right now the video and I will come back when this finished to show you what exactly it did. So you don't need to wait that much. So right now the model finished. So let's start from the beginning by the fact that this one doesn't have two calls. It will not create the file sound automatically for you. So you will need to go manually and create them. So this is the downside. So I've created everything in there. I created the SEO. You see in here that we have the SEO components. I have the header in here created. So I've created all of these things manually with the icons. And then uh, you have the services with the icons, testimonials. The footer I've created, main layout, you wanted to add a main layout in here. And uh, yeah, then the services page. So we didn't create everything. It only created the services page and contact page. Okay. And then it has me to add the index and you see in here that it doubled the footer because it had it also in here. So yeah, it's not that smart. It created a basic with me. Okay. And then I had some problems. Not all the icons were there and I asked him to create the icons for us. Then I've seen that all the components are there, like the project and CTA. So I asked him to do that and he created everything for us in here. And I've added everything and started to see how it's working. And right now, let's see the website. So this is the website, Solar. Okay, Solar Solutions. So this is the home page. So it has like a similar header. And in here you have some nice things for the hero. In here you have the project, but you don't have images. And yeah, the design, it's uh, quite clean. And it's better than what I've seen with uh, Google Gemini 2.5 Pro. But again, if you check the services, it created for us some uh, icons in here that are used. You have a nice footer in here. Again, it doubled the footer. And the contact, you have a nice contact. So yeah, I mean, it did a decent job. You need to remember that this is a free option. But as uh, the design concern, it looks like it did uh, quite well. And uh, yeah, I mean, it did a good job, not cloud for Sonnet level. But again, this is not uh, that bad. And of course, you have a lot of things that you need to modify. The other thing is the fact that it created components for everything. The problem with this is that it doesn't look to be that smart. But again, you see in here that you only used 16k 
tokens. I mean, this happens because you don't have any tool calls and uh, you are not using that many things when you are not using tool calls. Let me go and try again right now, close this and see the other one if it's working. So yeah, I mean, this is like a decent model if you are thinking that it's free. So we can use it for free, which is a good, good thing. Let me open the other one. Z. Okay, and this one. Let's hit new cipher alpha. Let's see if it's working. It should work. You see that you have one million context in here. Okay, so it doesn't let you use this with Z. Bad request, so I don't know why. Let's see minimal if it's working. Okay, so for minimal it's working. I guess it doesn't have tool calls like the other one. So I need to create everything <laughs> manually. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what it happens. So this one is just starting creating everything for us. So I will let it finish. I will pause this and put everything in here and see how it's uh, working. So the Cypher Alpha finished and uh, this uh, is not even working, but from the responses that he gave, we can see that uh, he didn't listen to the instruction. He didn't create it as VGs. He created some basic things like this footer in here for SEO the same. So this is not smart and is not listening uh, to our uh, prompt. So yeah, I mean, this is not a good model and uh, it's worse than all the model I've tested. I guess you can go with a local model and do better. So I don't know what's up with uh, this Cypher Alpha, but yeah, it's not even uh, good. And uh, you see in here for Astro, it has like uh, all the training data. It tries to use the local host with 3000. And for years, Astro is not using the 2000 port. So the yeah, Cypher Alpha is not a good model, but the other one, the Chimera, it uh, looks good and it can help you build some decent websites with a nice design comparable with what we've seen in uh, Cloud 4. So yeah, this is the conclusions. In case you like what you have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, I have uh, created a portal where I uh, add various things. So learn.vidoze.com is the portal. You can register for free. And in here, I have a start of the community with a course with color panel setup with some workshop with how to build an astro blog with the free team that i have you can ask questions and so on so this community is at beginning and uh, if you want you can join this community and uh, we can interact in here so yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video